What's going on guys and welcome back to Guidi's Garage. This video is going to be a little different from the uh, BMW. Um, I figured this is a common problem and I didn't really find any very like thorough videos on it so I figured I'd make one. So if you have a Pontiac Grand Prix, I'm sure there might be a couple other models too, um, and your fuel gauge. Just does whatever it wants. Um, sometimes it reads full. Sometimes it goes all the way down to empty. Sometimes it just fluctuates like that. Um, it's your fuel level sensor. Uh, there's little uh, um, what do you want to call it? Like keys or pins on there that the needle when the fuel level rises and lowers, it brings the float up, which sends like a uh, an electric current. Each current would be like. I don't exactly remember how it goes. I don't know if it's like higher the current full or higher the current low. I can't remember. But anyways, so uh, I will show you exactly how to uh, change it. Very easy. Um, $30 part or $35 part from O'Reilly's. And it's like Legos. Toxic and flammable Legos. But essentially all you do is you just take parts off of the actual fuel pump casing and stuff and you just plug and play it's really easy so yeah let's get to work and i'll show you what tools you're going to need so you're going to need a 10 millimeter you don't necessarily need an impact um it just makes it quicker you're going to need a lot of towels because as soon as you disconnect those fuel lines fuel is going to pour out and there's nothing you can do about it so to avoid a mess and making your car smell like gas you just lay down some uh fuel lines um so right here this back cover right in the back seat on the passenger uh, actually in the middle of the car is this little aluminum cover and underneath that is your actual fuel pump assembly and uh yeah i'll set the camera down so we can um start undoing it so in here is the top of your fuel pump assembly here are all your fuel lines um the middle one always goes to the rear these two they're not hard to get confused or I guess you can confuse them, but they're pretty simple because one's longer than the other. And these will only plug in one way, so you don't ever have to worry about that. All right, right here is where you need your towel, because unfortunately, there's just no other way around it. You're just gonna dump fuel. So as soon as I can get these unplugged, they're kind of a pain. Just like I said, fuel goes everywhere, and I did a very piss poor job with that one. So then all these, all you do is you push in, start pulling the pump out before you get those other two lines. And as you can see, all it does is like, kind of catch in there like a key kind of, and all you do is you just twist it. So if you take a screwdriver, if you take a screwdriver and a rubber mallet or some kind of hammer, Just like that. So the fuel pump assembly is out. Now like I said, grab rags when you pulled it out. Gas is just gonna, you know, pour from it. And here it is. And essentially this right here is what goes bad. See how it's burnt? So we're gonna be replacing that. And then I'm pretty sure it comes with like this like rubber seal too. But uh, I will open the box. All right, so in the in the bag comes with your new float and your uh, plugs for the wires, and it comes with. The new seal and a new uh, clip for this top part. So we will start undoing that right now. You can get away with using your fingers, but I just don't feel like it. So. You have a clip right in there too. You gotta take out. The clip's pretty easy. I am roughing it a little bit because I know I have new ones. Just 
just like that. Now the new one can go in. And you can immediately tell the difference between a good one and a bad one. What I'm doing is there's a little uh, slide on there. You can see right there, and it just slides on. Put it about right there so you can move your wires up out of the way, and then it'll clip in. And then we can start, you know, running all these wires. Just, just the same way as you take took it off. Just try to remember that. So obviously this one's gonna go up top. There's only one way that they can, you know, plug in. There we go. That, that one's plugged in. Now we go ahead and plug this one in right here. There we go. And then your wires, just like you took them out, they come in here. Oh, sorry. They come in here just like that and clip in right there. Oh, that one did it by itself. And then it is installed. And then from there, you're going to need this little baggie. And this has all the little locking keys in them. Same one you took out. So this key goes right in here. Just like that. And this key goes right here in this top part. Just like that. And keep this baggie on until right until I'm uh, about to install it in the car. And then this rubber grommet, which I guess I should have. Oh, well, screwed myself on that. Replace this rubber grommet before you do all this. Probably be a little easier, but still doable. So, it sits in like this, top hat goes top. Like I said, this is, came straight from O'Reilly's for $35. Very simple fix, and you don't have to drop your tank, which is very nice. There, just like that, now we can uh, go put it in the tank. And there we go, just like that, it covers on. Now like I said, um, fuel lines and the clips. Uh, the three, you got three fuel lines, the one in the middle goes to the rear, the one closest here is a shorter one, the one over here is a longer one. Two white, or the two clips are only go one way. And, gas gauge is now working. Um, I did drop that little baggie in the fuel tank, so I suggest that you don't do that, but I got it out of there, so. That is a plus. Um, and yeah, that's going to wrap the video up. So I hope you guys enjoy this. And this helps you out in any way. Hit that like button. And if you're interested in a turbocharged BMW build, this is an M52 TU. So if you're interested in any of that, definitely hit that subscribe button because there's a lot coming to this.